This is a video on how to use the basic weighing scales for Irish recipes, Irish cooking. So, for good results in most recipes, accurate weighing and measuring is essential. Um, it doesn't make much difference whether you put two onions into a stew instead of one, or whether you put an extra apple into an apple tart. But when you're baking with flour, sugar, liquids, making cakes or pastries and so on, you have to ensure and measure carefully um, or your your cooking will be spoiled. It will completely ruin the recipe and you'll wonder why you followed the instructions, everything was fine and it didn't turn out or it turned out well the last time and now it's completely different. Normally it's a number of factors but mainly it's to do with the wrong weighing of the ingredients and then the second thing would be mainly be your oven and um, your oven is probably set at the wrong temperature and you have it on the wrong shelf but we'll cover that later in another video so um for example um if you do if you don't add enough flour to a cake um it can ruin it and be disastrous like we said so all the recipes this is in most books and cooking books have been tested by both metric weighing scales um, grams for example and imperial weights pounds and ounces okay so you must stick to whatever weighing scales that you're using you must stick to that measuring system so for example this weighing scales here uses grams and ounces so you'll notice that it starts up here the max is 5 kg it's set at zero first setting up here I'm going to ignore the ounces and I'm going to mainly use grams that's all I ever use grams I cook with grams so up the top here you'll see you have a number of different lines first of all which are rain scales mainly like this one which you'll get anywhere anywhere really cheaply um, and last for years you get a, a metal bowl it could be plastic, but the metal are good because they go into the dishwasher easy, they're non-stick and they're very easy to keep clean. Um, if that's in the wash as well, you can substitute it with another metal bowl that you might have, which you get very cheaply in any um, any home store more or any store like that. Underneath the bowl, then you'll see a rotating kind of dial here, and that's going to set your clock here it's going to set where the dial goes so always make sure when you put that bowl on that it's exactly up at zero it's not slightly off or slightly to the left turn it so it's exactly at zero when you're starting because that will make a big difference to your to your results okay give the bowl a push let it go back to zero and make sure it's exactly on zero okay so we're ready to go so up the top you'll notice then little white dials here so each of these dials you would never know but each of these are 20 okay so 20 40 60 80 100 grams 20 40 60 80 200 grams okay so if my weighing scales if my ingredients say they call for 125 grams of sugar or flour like in my cookbook that I use, a very old home economics cookbook that I had from, have some school, teaches the basic recipes. If that says 125 grams of flour, I need 125 grams of flour. Okay, so we're going to pour in, now I'm just using sugar for this as an example. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to start pouring in, okay, and you're going to see on the dial how it rises slowly. Okay, so we've got 20. 40, 60, 80. Okay, so if it, the recipe says 75 grams, take a spoon and just take a slight bit out of that because that's just at 80 grams, okay? 100, and now we're at exactly 120, okay? So just over the 120, so that's 125. Okay, so 125 grams, so that's enough for my fairy cakes, okay? So you get it, empty it into your bowl, start again, okay? 